Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your girl, Abby. And if you're new, thank you so much for tuning in. Today is another wash day routine, mainly showing you guys how I take care of my hair after taking out my mini twist. As you can see, you know, I start with wetting my hair. Then I go in with the African Pride shampoo. And y'all can tell I'm a little heavy handed, you know. Um, I didn't even realize until I was like watching back. And I was like, why was I using so much shampoo? For me, I'm heavy handed, so I use a whole lot. And because I was washing my hair in twists, I wanted to make sure that I was getting it to my scalp, to all my strands, because it had been almost like two months since I had washed my hair. So I wanted to make sure my hair was clean, clean, you know? So when I'm shampooing my hair, I like to make sure that I am covering all hair strands. You know, I'm not just letting the shampoo lather come down my hair. I wanted to make sure my hair was clean. And then now I'm going in with this hair massager. Massager. <laughs> massager. <laughs> hair massager. Wow. This scalp massage um, thing. And I'm going in with it to just basically make sure I'm cleaning my scalp and actually helping circulate blood flow to my scalp as well without me using my fingernails, which, you know, is going to scratch my scalp. And the end, it's not really helping the health of your hair. So I go in with that and then I will go back in with the palms of my fingers to make sure, you know, we got everything before we wash it out. So once I'm done shampooing my hair, I'm going in with the Cream of Nature Honey Mask and I'm going to use that as my deep conditioner. Again, y'all, I am heavy handed. Don't judge me on the amount of product I use, okay? But I go in with the deep conditioner and basically I'm finger detangling, trying to get as many knots out as possible. Then after I feel like, okay, I've gotten these knots out, I will go in with a wide tooth comb to actually, you know, comb out the tangles and make sure that, you know, it's good. And then once I feel like we good, I will twist up my hair and we move on to the next. Can we take a moment and take a look at those curls? Look at that hair pattern. Like I was even shocked at myself. Like, is that curls I see? Because I don't see it a lot like that, like after washing my hair. But basically I'm just gonna repeat that same process throughout my hair. And then once I'm done, I will put it into a Bantu knot for it to, you know, do a stain and simmer. So 
just as a tip for doing your hair, whenever you're a deep conditioner or styling or washing your hair in general, take your time. For me, if I didn't take my time while I was detangling my hair, I would have lost so much hair. Because mind you, I was doing this at like three o'clock in the morning. I was really tired. However, I made sure to take my time so that I could properly just take out the shed hair and not lose a lot of hair because I was being aggressive with my hair. So once I finish putting deep conditioner in my hair, I will also put some on my edges, basically all around the perimeter of my hair because they also need some TLC. Don't forget your kitchen, you know, you want that to grow as well. So I do that, then I will cover it with a processing cap and then I will go over it with another like plastic bag because I wanted the double insulation. And when I did this, I was too tired that night to continue and wash it. So I left it like this and slept overnight with it. After deep conditioning overnight, I forgot to actually film me styling my hair because I was going to be late to work. So I'm going to insert a video showing you guys my wash and go. Um, that I did for that week and that was actually day two. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you are notified the next time I upload. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!